So everyone, let's talk about Axie Infinity Breathing Guide. So it's so simple. Thank you so much for dropping a like. I'll be teaching you how you can make massive profit of breathing. Now, breathing is when two axes create new offspring. Each axe can be bred a maximum of seven times. If Axie hasn't bred an offspring yet, then the breed count is 07. An axie with a 07 breed count is called a virgin axie. The lower the breed count, the more valuable the axie. So just to show you something, I'm going to be pulling up the market later on. But the one thing is for sure. The past covers the following information. How to breed, how to uh, genes, mutations, body patterns, morphing, and breeding methods. So we have breeding cost over here. Breeding cost two axes and a certain amount of smooth love potions. So obviously you can get the smooth love potions in the game. So that's not going to be that hard for everyone who's simply playing and being out there. But for those, you know, who are fresh, this is definitely something you should know. But depending on the breed count of the axes. So the breed count is how many the axie has already produced offspring. The higher the breed count, the more SLP you will need to breed again. You can see over here, they're super cheap, but obviously they're more expensive as Axie is growing. Now we got a huge Axie bump, uh, dump that just happened recently. But if we check over here, the table shows the amount of SLP you will need based on the breed count of the Axie. So remember this, when you breed your first Axie, it's only 150. And then they, it gets more and more and more expensive. It's super simple, but it's something you should remember. Axis will only get more and more expensive. So what we can see here is this means if you have an axis with a breed count of 2 slash 7 and an axis breed count with a 3 of 7, the total cost of breeding are 2 axes and 1200 SLP. So this is what you'll need, like 2 axes and 1200 SLP. But smooth love potions can be earned by playing the game. You can earn them in the arena or adventure mode. Check out this guide and how to breed, go to your inventory, select the first axe you want to use to breed, select the breed option, and you could have over here, you know, choose the second axe, and then you click let's breed, and each axe has six body parts as well as a body shape. For each part, an axe possesses three genes, a dominant, recessive, and minor recessive gene, R2. So the dominant gene is what determines the body part that is physically present on the axe. When breeding, each gene has a chance to be passed down to an offspring. So 37.5% chance to pass this to an offspring, 9.3% chance to pass this uh, to an offspring, and 3.1%. So you can use the calculator to look up probabilities when breeding to axes. But you can see here, here are the stats. You can view the genes in the marketplace uh, built by one of the community members. So... This is basically, you, you check what they can actually get, but mutations. There's a 10% chance for one of the res recessive genes to change in a completely random part, not inherited from either parent. This is what we call a mutation. Each gene has no effect on the chances of any or other gene mutating. The dominant parts of the oxy cannot be mutated. This means to 100%, the, uh, to, there is a 32% uh, so a third of a chance of no mutations. Um, and you have the math over here. So there's, you know, 0% mutations is a 28% chance. And six mutations like that is a very small percent chance. That is uh, really, 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 really low. But you can, you know, honestly get like three mutations. It's possible. So more than six mutations in one breed is improbable. So here are odds up to six mutations. And you can see the body patterns over here. And th this is really, really awesome. You know, they have different patterns. Um, and these are formulas can be used to get certain patterns. You can see you can get sumo. If you, you Basically, it's a whole complicated process. If you want a big yak, if you want a sumo, if you want a wet dog, if you want a fuzzy. Um, and morphing. After breeding, you will receive an egg in your inventory. The egg can be morphed into an adult after five days. So only five days. You cannot bring siblings with each other. This means if you use two barons to breed multiple axes as offspring, these offspring cannot be used to breed with each other. To counter this problem, you can use breeding loops. So breeding loops are strategies to breed for infinite generations, starting with only three or four axes. These are two main approaches. So you can, you know, obviously breed the same things, but you have to pause the video. This is going to be really hard to do. And, you know, a lot of people who are doing it are massively profiting. 
But uh, this is a special method on how you can breathe twice. So first things you do is you breathe twice with this guy and then these two breathe twice, right? And then these two breathe twice. And then again, once again, you, you breathe twice. So it's really, really hard to understand. But uh, this is really, really awesome. There's also no cost for morphing. So you get an egg, you get a little baby, a beautiful one, and that's it. Super simple. Now you are the father. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace, everyone.